What's up everybody, this is Ven bringing you another Mock Spotlight where we take apart what you build. For today's episode we'll be taking a look at Dark Lord Midas, created and posted to our message boards by Tolerant Axe 97 Now before we get started let me remind you of my method of reviewing which involves a point system that is based on three fundamental attributes. The overall appearance of the mock, the build of the mock itself, and the concept and ideas behind the mock's creation. Each of these qualities will amount up to 10 points leading up to a final score that will be determined at the end of the episode, and please remember that this is all going to be based on my opinion. So let's get this started. Alrighty, so Dark Lord Midas here looks pretty cool immediately, like wow, this thing looks clean, it's, it's buff, it's dark, he's got silver and black and a little bit of blue mixed in there. It's a really neat looking color scheme. You know, usually silver and black don't look so interesting. They're fairly bland colors, but it works for this mock because the mock has a little bit more to offer than just some bland colors. No, that makes these colors work well. You got the blue that complements it, and there's a lot of neat detailing that goes into this mock. Just look at the armor in the midsection here, how it kind of resembles abs. It's like ab armor, but it's really not. It's just these two mask pieces kind of thrown in here to give that illusion. It looks really good and very convincing that it's like armored plating or something. And then you'll notice that the rest of the torso, mainly all the black parts, have a much smoother, sleeker aesthetic to them than the silver parts and that remains consistent throughout the mock. Every bit of black is sleek and every bit of silver has some detail and texture to it. Even the face, which probably should have been the first thing I paid attention to, but uh, and trust me, it was, but I just wanted to point out the abs because I bet you never would have seen that coming. But no, the face looks great, like it's made up of a bunch of different pieces of, of different sizes and shapes but you can still make out the face you know you can see the eyes you can kind of see where the mouth would be you know all these features are really well defined despite the fact that this is made up of a bunch of different parts then there's the legs which are really enticing honestly these look great i'm a big fan of how he uses the onua shovels over here on the calves i like the shape that it provides for the legs and i also really like the feet i like that the feet have so much going on like you can tell these are still supposed to be the feet that are not like tentacles or whatever but they have a lot of structure put into them and it makes for a bulky appearance that is consistent with the rest of the mock and then the arms the arms are surprisingly natural like they're not even built out of too many parts but you can tell if you look closely that there's a lot of uh, thought that went into these arms I'm starting to question my own character just paying so much attention to arms and abs like Man, Chris Hemsworth, am I right? And speaking of character, this smock has a good bit of that. You know, he's big, bulky, imposing. He looks like he's got his own agenda, like he's some kind of super villain. He's even got the super villain mustache going on here. Like, if you didn't notice that before, now it's there and now you can't unsee it. He's got a mustache and it looks fantastic. Now, I will say I'm actually not really feeling the Onua decal on the shoulder there. Like, it is a cool looking sticker. I got nothing against the sticker. I actually think it would look good on this mock if it wasn't for the fact that it causes asymmetry and there just isn't any gold or purple present on any other part of this mock. So it just looks really out of place. I actually find myself preferring the smooth and, and I guess, blank shoulder piece on his right shoulder because again it just looks more consistent with the rest of the mock it carries on that sleek aesthetic that all the other black parts of the mock provide and yeah i guess technically there is some purple elsewhere on the mock it's on the weapon here you can see there's a bit of transparent purple which also i would say looks out of place because again there's no purple the complementary color that we have is the blue and I, I wish that somehow there is some kind of blue on the shoulder instead of the purple and that there is blue on the weapon because the purple again it just comes out of nowhere really at that rate maybe it would just be better to make all the blue parts purple instead not a big deal it doesn't really take too much away from the mock it still looks really good but it, I feel like it is worth noting and another thing I did notice was that the legs do seem a bit short for this long of a torso and he does suffer a bit from the no neck syndrome 
which can look a little odd at some angles I've noticed, but aside from those things, it looks pretty good proportionally, I got no other complaints, and overall I'm a real fan of this design. It's even got a nice solid build, and you know, you can tell that this thing is just well put together. Like the way that the builder uses his parts, it, ma it makes the mock look completely whole, like there's no gaps or anything really. Every empty space is filled up, the armor coverage is well thought out. I mean, it is just really impressive. It also looks well balanced and articulated, and you know, the weapon itself actually looks pretty interesting and unique. It's nice to see how easily the mock can actually hold the weapon using its articulated fingers. I know that's kind of hard to pull off as well, so great job there. And now I will say, I think the coolest part about this mock is that it was initially intended to be a Makuta mock. It was supposed to actually represent the character of Makuta but it was completely reinvented into this original design, this original character. And while it does actually remind me of a Makuta build, I actually feel that, especially since the whole mock is a completely custom build, it successfully introduces its own sense of identity, its own character, its own threat. It's big, it's bulky, he's got a unique face and structure to it all, and while I would probably change some very minute things about the character's design, it is inherently a good design. And in a way, I could even forgive the short legs, because I, I'm kind of looking at it like it adds to the mock's character. Like it's an intentional part of his design, almost kind of like a cartoon, how cartoons have very odd proportions sometimes. And really, I would only complain so much about proportions if it just did not look good. I don't think that these proportions make the mock look bad really I just thought it was worth mentioning and another thing that I think is worth mentioning is that I do acknowledge that this mock was actually redesigned at some point to acknowledge the leg criticism see I'm not the first one apparently that had mentioned that the legs looked a bit short so the builder did update the mock and Wow, I gotta admit, it actually does look a lot better like this. Like, it doesn't even really compromise the original design or the character or anything like that. It just kinda... He, all he did really was extend the legs just a little bit and immediately I can see an improvement. And did I mention how cool that little piece of cloth, like that little butt cape? Cause wow, if there's anything else to probably add to the mock, that is it. That looks... that is like icing on the cake. And that's pretty much all I got to say about this in full detail, so let's move on to the final scores and get this video all wrapped up, shall we? In terms of appearance, this mock receives a 9 out of 10. I did have some very small issues with the mock's appearance. I do like the design overall, but the color, like with the blue and the purple and the random sticker with a little bit of gold on it and the purple again, it's like, come on. Again, it doesn't take away that much from the figure, it still looks awesome as the score should show but it's like this could have been so easily avoided but no no worries in terms of the build this mock receives a 10 out of 10 because man this is one heck of a build it's solid it's beefy it's bulked out it's well covered everything it's a really good build and then in terms of the concept this mock also receives another 10 out of 10 because there's just no denying that this mock was really well pulled off and Especially with the improvements, I can't really see what else you can really improve on. The design is great, the proportions look good, the detailing is good, everything is really well pulled off. At this point, I kind of look back at the color thing as like a, a, a just a big nitpick because I really do enjoy this Mox design overall. So with that said, we are left with a final score that all adds up to a 29 out of 30. You go out there, you make more mocks taller next, because I like your stuff. This is probably one of the best mocks I've seen out of you, and I do hope to see more out of you. Same goes for the rest of you viewers. Please post to the message boards at board.ttvchannel.com. Show me what you got. Show me how creative you can get. And maybe then you can actually be featured on the mock spotlight sometime in the future. So, make something cool, post it on the boards, hope to see you then. And if not, well I thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.